Welcome to Manchester, probably the coolest city in the world and the home of uh, what was the Hacienda nightclub. The Hacienda nightclub became world famous during the Manchester years of the late 1980s and early 1990s, fostering the acid house and rave scene. Sadly, it closed its doors in 1997 and has since become very sought after prestigious apartments. There we are. Right outside the Hacienda, which as you can see, I've just mentioned, is now apartment blocks. This venue was absolutely instrumental in the start of the careers for Oasis, Stone Roses, the Happy Mondays, and the Bezin. To seek what you never could own. Now, speaking of ownership, the Hacienda was owned by Tony Wilson renowned for also owning factory records. Now we're going to take a walk down there soon. But first, we're going to pop inside the Hacienda Apartments and look at a beautiful artifact. Yeah, look what we are now. Here we are, inside the Hacienda Apartments. I'm with Jason. Hello, Jason. Hi there, you're right. So, um, we've Jason's kindly come out and he's told us about a really important piece of history from uh, the Hacienda, which is this. Jason, can you tell us a bit about this? Yeah, so initially the uh, the flooring that you can see behind was, was from the actual original dance floor of the Hacienda uh, prior to it being deconstructed. And this is actually all we've got left. We've got a nice bit of ice in there. Displayed on the wall. No way, that is crazy. Do you mind if I go and have a little, a little touch of that? Yeah, sure, go for it. So, we've had Bezzy, we've had Bez dancing on here, we've had Ian Brown on here, we've had Dean Gallagher on here. Wow, that is crazy. Right, let's take that home with us. Ah, the man himself, Mr. Tony Wilson. Now, here we are outside Factory Records, uh, which Tony opened in 1978 and closed in 1992. Some of Manchester's most famous bands uh, recorded their work here, ranging from the Happy Mondays, a lot of bit of bezzing, uh, the Sex Pistols, New Order, and probably most notably, Joy Division. Now, as a fun fact, um, Factory opened uh, in 2010 again, but as a nightclub. And I tell you what, it was one of the most crazy nightclubs in Manchester, and that's coming first hand. I could tell you some stories there, but maybe save that for another day. I didn't see that before. Now that is one true statement. <laughs> 